Hey there, we're going to talk about triads. What's a triad, you might ask? Well, a lot of the basic chords that you uh, have probably learned, let's say D, is a triad. Triad meaning three. Well, it still doesn't make a lot of sense because I'm playing four strings. Yes, I am. Uh, however, the notes I'm playing are D, A, D, and F sharp. Okay, so we have two Ds, one here and one here. So they'll count as one note, okay? So basically we're dealing with D, F sharp, and A. Uh, now, really the best thing to do is to understand uh, how triad triads are made. And it's essentially that um, all of the um, ingredients for making chords and scales and melodies and all that sort of thing uh, are made up of the seven notes of the alphabet that we use in music, A through G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, okay? Uh, and so when we're building chords, or triads in this case, uh, chords being of three notes, uh, then we're using uh, three notes that are uh, what we would describe as a third apart. Okay? Uh, to make it most simple, uh, in the case of the D chord, we have D, and the next note in the series would be E, but we're skipping that one. We're using some sort of an F, in this case F sharp. And then we have the next note, which would be G, but we're skipping that one, and we're using A. Okay, so that's how we have D, F sharp, and A. D, E, F sharp, G, A. So we're playing every other note, so to speak. And when we learn how to play them as chords, we learn them as a cluster. Okay, well, especially if we start on string four, shall we? We might also learn uh, D like this, okay, or learn it like this. In each of these cases, it's still three notes, three different, uh, differently named pitches, okay? Uh, but we have multiples. For instance, here we have D, A, another D, F sharp, and A, okay? So we have two Ds and two A, all right, and one F sharp. Here we have the same. We have uh, D, A, D, F sharp, A, and D. So now we have three Ds and two A's. And an F sharp. Confused yet? Well, you probably should be, and it's okay. Basically, just understand that we have three differently named notes in our basic chords, a major chord and a minor chord. We have two others, but who cares about those? Most of the time you haven't learned them anyway. Not that there's something wrong with you, you just haven't learned them because you don't have any use for them, okay? So we have D and D minor, okay? So those are triads. They use three different notes. Uh, <clears throat> and what I'm getting at here is that we have different ways of putting them on the instrument. So we can play it up here, we can play it here, and we can play it here. All right. So those are the uh, three major examples, so to speak. Enjoy.